Let's have a look at the user interface for headlines in the version 0.5. Uh, there has been substantial changes since the original release, so I think it's worth making a new video. Uh, so just like before, uh, the um, mods icon is this group of people watching the launch of a rocket. Uh, when you uh, turn this on in Space Center, you're presented with a uh, panel that has six tabs. First tab is program. Uh, the first part of the program is your credibility, uh, particularly at this time I have 269, which is loosely matching reputation. However, 4% of this uh, is, uh, is an overvaluation, it's hype, it's not real credibility. And that's an important mechanic uh, in, in, this, um, in this mod where in order to actually get your achievement recognized, you need to have the hype to match it. I'm at 94% of the highest point in, uh, in credibility. And the space craze is high, meaning that uh, the public and the governments are expecting a rapid pace of achievement. Uh, and if this does not happen, the reputation decays over time as people tend to forget. This is a new part, a uh, new section for version 0.5. Uh, we now have a program manager. This program manager's name is Leslie Kerman. Um, profile is junior and suitability is junior. And as the uh, KSC becomes more complex, the suitability goes down, uh, meaning that once you have upgraded the mission control and astronaut complex, VAB and research and development complex, uh, you need to have a better qualified uh, pro program manager. Um, this manager has six launches. Uh, the first two are done at a disadvantage because of inexperience. And past the eighth uh, launch, uh, we consider the program manager to be veteran and actually has an advantage. So gets a better grip and handle on the program. This is also a new addition program priority allows the player to tell the program manager what are the priority for the programs. So by default it's balance, meaning that everybody does what they do. Um, we can also put an emphasis on reputation. Um, and, and so what that uh, means is that uh, more emphasis is put in trying to build hype and manage reputation of the program, which uh, may be important before um, big milestones. Production uh, is uh, diverting efforts and attention away from uh, reputation and growth and focusing on research development and assembly in the valve. Uh, and finally, growth is uh, at the expense of production and reputation. It's to try to build KSC um, by uh, doing fundraising, for example, by scouting, uh, but also by sending the crew member into uh, study leaves. The impact section uh, is what this mod has done on your program. So, so far, there has been no capital funding by pilot. Uh, and 2.3% of the total science in the program is a boost that is attributable to visiting scholars. There are no visiting scholars currently um, in the KSC. Uh, otherwise, it would show. Uh, and right now, uh, the crew and the program manager are contributing the equivalent of five uh, upgrade points to the VAB and three upgrade points to the Research and Development Center. The second tab is media. Uh, when we have uh, in, in the media tab, you decide when you start media campaigns and when you go live. Uh, so for example, right now, um, we are currently live and uh, are expecting to complete the experimental rocket plane. That has a uh, payoff of two reputation, so we need to beat this two in the next one day in 56 minutes, or else the press will leave disappointed. 
uh, which would be the same thing as clicking uh, this button right now, so dismissing the press gallery. Uh, so the next thing that I will be doing in this campaign is actually run uh, the uh, flight for the experimental rocket plane. Uh, there are other contracts here. I cannot add them to the live event right now because we are live. We're already made the pledge, but I intend to uh, to have a launch uh, in a new live event to cover the suborbital trajectory in return. Um, that's a four credibility, so I'll have to make sure that my hype is at least four. Right now it's 11, so it's okay. Uh, the feed is the same as it used to be. Uh, it essentially at four levels of detail, so tons of news, a little bit less, and, and, and much fewer for headline is uh, giving you an update of what's going on with your career manager as well as your program. Uh, the personal tab uh, allows to drill down to individual crew members, so they are ordered from the highest profile to the lowest profile. So our highest profile is Fritz Weber. Uh, Fritz has a uh, net uh, profile of seven, uh, which breaks down to charisma training and experience. So that's two points of experience is because I flew Fritz. Uh, and Fritz currently is equal or better to, uh, than our uh, program manager, so it would be possible to pull Fritz off the VAB and turn Fritz into a program manager uh, by clicking this button. But if I do this, I would be losing the four points that Fritz contribute as a lasting contribution uh, and the one as an immediate one. So even if Fritz is distracted and does not contribute immediate points in the VAB, uh, for as long as Fritz is part of the program, his team, the team that he has assembled, is contributing four points. So that's a big deal. We don't want to lose Fritz as an engineer. Fritz uh, is collaborating with Marina, who's a pilot, and has a feud with Kim, junior scientist, which is actually our rookie. Uh, because our program manager right now is controlling the KC enough, so we have a nominal uh, status for control, it is possible to tell uh, Fritz what to do. But when you do that, uh, it tends to annoy uh, our crew members because you're essentially telling them to do something else than what they want to do. But if you wanted to steer them, you can, uh, you can select one activity over the other. If I uncheck Accelerate Assembly here, I'd be losing that point in the VAB, so I don't want to do this. Um, then we have our other crew members here. So Marina is, is a competent pilot. She's inspiring. Inspiring is a good quality for a program manager. Uh, so uh, I think Marina might be a better candidate to replace Leslie as program manager. Heinz is uh, a scrapper. That's a terrible trait for program manager. Um, tend to get into feud, although there are none right now. Uh, Jean um, is a scientist, uh, and Genial is a trait that's particularly good for media blitzes. Uh, and finally, Kim is our new recruit, and that's actually Kim that I'm going to fly in a rocket plane. Uh, to uh, get her some experience a little bit, although she does have experience, so it shouldn't change uh, the experience, but at least we'll um, give her some credibility. Finally, the recruit tab here is where uh, you can launch new searches. Right now, I only have one applicant who's a competent engineer uh, with a trait charming. If I wanted to get more people, I could pay 3,000 fund. Uh, and, and get a uh, smaller selection of candidates, or I can hire a headhunter uh, firm for a lot more money, but get a larger pool of higher profile applicants. So that's maybe uh, a good thing. In headline, uh, recruiting uh, Kerbals cost 10,000 instead of 50,000 at the beginning of the game. And it's also possible to get vouchers for 10,000, which makes uh, hiring crew the beginning of a career free. Uh, but it, right now, I do not have one of these vouchers. I need to get some of my pilots to successfully scout talents in order to, uh, to do this. 
Uh, and finally, the story panel is uh, where we find story elements. So these are on a voluntary basis. Uh, I like when I run my program to think about small details that are not captured in the game. So if I was to blow up a sounding rocket over a populated area, you can click on this button and it starts a random sequence of events that kind of tells a bit of a story about whether it has caused damage or drawn interest to your program. Uh, it's much less likely if it's not over a populated area, so we have possible debris fallout over land. Uh, and that covers the uh, feature set for headlines.